Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite invert here and today we're going to be talking about updating the firmware on the X4R SB. That's right, that is FR Sky's receiver. It is commonly used with the Tyrannus QX7 and X9D. But today we're going to be flashing the firmware onto the receiver for our QX7 and we're going to be using it for the Parrot Disco. The last video I did was installing and showing the setup for the Parrot Disco using the QX7. And uh, I had a viewer respond, reach out to me and said, hey, you know, the reason that you're possibly getting those rapid and consistent disconnects and uh, the warning notifications is, in fact, you may be running a uh, an outdated firmware. So he suggested to upload the latest firmware. And here we are. So we're going to test it out. We're going to do a test flight later. That's going to be a different video coming up. So let's get into it. All right, so first off, we're going to go to frsky-rc.com uh, forward slash x4rsb. That's going to take us to the firmware page. There's links in the description below. It'll take you right to this site. And right here, we're going to have the firmware download button. You're going to want to make sure that you download the proper firmware. Um, fortunately, f this download is going to download both EU version and the non-EU version, which non-EU is basically going to be your international version so if you live outside of Europe then obviously you're gonna want the international version so we're gonna go ahead and click the download It's gonna drop it into our downloads folder uh, I am on a Windows machine so it's gonna be in the downloads folder here and now we're gonna get the QX7 set up and uh, get ready to load it on to the QX7 and then flash our receiver. Right now we're going to get into the actual flashing of the firmware. So what we're going to do is we're going to pinch here and lightly press just ever so quickly press that button. So that's going to get us into the bootloader. We're going to take our micro USB. We're going to plug it in. We're going to enter it back into the computer and we're going to load the firmware onto our QX7. All right, so right here, if you don't have the firmwares folder, go ahead and create that. That's firmwares with an S. I'm gonna double click that. All right, since I have already downloaded the firmware and loaded it, I've already flashed it prior to this video. I just wanted to make sure that it worked. But what I did is I double clicked, I drilled all the way down into where the firmware files were actually stored in the zip folder. I highlighted both of them and I just drag and drop to the firmware's folder. So that would put it, um, when you plug in your Tyrannus, you're gonna want to open up the SD card file structure and not just the Tyrannus file structure. So if it says Tyrannus SD, enter into it. If it just looks like a removable device, um, go ahead and enter into it and that's where we're going to place the firmwares folder and that's where we're going to drag and drop our firmware files. So now that our firmware files are on the QX7 then we are good to go and we can unplug the QX7 and turn it off for now. So now that that is done we get to hook up our X4R to the QX7 we're going to take the X4R with the smart port here. We're going to plug our cable in. Now this cable came with the actual receiver here. So as long as you purchase your X4R receiver new, it should come with a should come with a smart port cable that has just your standard servo lead plugged into it. We're going to go ahead and connect this into the QX7. There we go and then we're going to power it on as normal. Press and hold the menu button until you enter into the radio setup then press the page button to get into the SD. So you're going to use the scroll wheel to scroll down to the firmwares folder that we created earlier. You want to enter into that. Here's where we have our firmware files. You're going to want to select the firmware that you want to flash. So we'll go ahead and select that. You want to press and hold for this menu to pop up now we want to flash external device so we'll go ahead and long press and hold and now we're writing so it'll then power up the receiver and it'll start flashing your firmware 
and this should um, it'll take a minute or so to complete and it shouldn't fail so long as all your wires are in good working order and uh, not cut or anything like that and you have solid connections but it will flash your receiver and uh, that's it you guys are good to go the firmware is flashed all right and just like that it's done flashing it powered off your receiver and now you're ready to disconnect plug into your aircraft and go fly so that's going to do it for this video i hope you liked it hope you found it helpful uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below um, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and uh, if you're not a subscriber please consider uh, subscribing i really appreciate your support and i'll see you next video